Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the quote block in a Squarespace website using just a little bit of CSS. We're going to give it a unique border and a unique background so that quote can really stand out. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how this works. So here we are in my demo site. I am using version 7.1, but these codes will work in either version of Squarespace. So if you're still using like a Brine or a Bedford site built in version seven, this tutorial will work for you. I'm gonna hop into edit mode really quickly to show you this right here is the quote block itself. If you click this plus sign and select quote, that's where you're actually going to grab this style of content block. This is what we're working with. It has a quote and it has a source. Now I want you to see this source doesn't actually have the dash that's right there, and this quote doesn't actually have the quotation marks. We've got codes to hide those as well if you don't like the look of that, okay? Awesome, let's go ahead and select save and start working with some custom CSS. I'm going to scroll up here so we can see those quotes. There we go. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. This is where we're gonna paste the codes that we're working with. Now the whole block itself goes by the name SQS block quote. So I'm just gonna paste that right here and it says syntax error on line one because I haven't put any code in yet. <laughs> so let's add a curly bracket and say uh, background pink. And now the quote has a background of pink. Now these blocks are right next to each other. So that's why it looks like it's one big piece of content there. I'm going to go ahead and say margin bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and get make it like 15 px. There we go. I separated those blocks a little bit so we can see the difference here. Now we can also use the same line of code to give it a border if we want to. I can say border uh, 5px solid, let's say Alice blue, a nice light blue that's too hard to see. Just kidding. Let's just go with a solid black. There we go. Now that stands out a little bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a little softer. We'll give it a border radius to round out those edges. I'll say border radius 5px. Let's make that bigger. Let's go 15px. There we go. Now they're slightly rounded at the edges there. So I've got two other code names here. This one says SQS block quote block quote. This is the actual quote text itself. So if you want to make that uh, maybe bold, for example, let's do that with some custom CSS. I'll add that code name. I'll open up a curly bracket and I'll say font weight bold. And we don't need to be bolder, just bold. There we go. Now it really stands out. And let's say we actually want the quote source to be a completely different font. Maybe you installed a handwriting font on your website and you want to use that. Grab the code name SQS block quote source. We'll add that as a new line. And I'll just say font family cursive. And there we go. It's going to update it to a different style of font. I don't have any fonts installed on my site other than Poppin, so I just have to use the web safe names. But if you've installed a custom font, you can add that code name there. There is a link in the description below for how to add your own font to Squarespace. So check out that tutorial if you want to use your own font. But there are two other things I want to show you before we call this one done. I'm going to scroll down here. Let's hide that dash before the quote source. I'm going to grab this code right here. And what this code says is the first letter of that source, make it font size zero. That first letter is that dash that Squarespace added for us. I didn't like it, so we just hid that. But notice the actual text is still exactly the same. All we changed was removing that dash by making it literally size zero. Now after that, we can also hide the quotation marks. Both of these have automatic quotation marks and I don't like the look of it. So grabbing this code here, I'll just paste that. Let's scroll up to see the magic in action. There we go, those quotation marks disappear. This right here just says display none and it hides those. So that's been customized as well. But before we call this done, I do wanna share with you, I have two pre-made quote styles that I think you might find pretty awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this code we added so you can check these out. This one right here is going to update the quote block so the quotation marks are gone and there's a border between the quote and the source and the source is uppercase. And then over here, I gave it a line on the left and had the quote source be italic. So I changed up these two styles. Both of those are available for free on my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash quote. But if you want to customize it in your own way, these three code names are listed in the description below so you can start to get creative with your own styles. 
Alrighty, that's it for this quick overview of those code names that you can use to customize the quote block in your Squarespace website. Again, I have all three of those code names listed in the description below, along with the codes to hide the source dash and hide those automatic quotation marks. If you want to grab the pre-made quote styles that I have in a PDF, head on over to my website inside the square.co forward slash quote. Otherwise, use the codes in the description to start customizing it your own unique way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube because I post a tutorial like this every single Tuesday. Again, thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.